All right, so if it seems like your sock drawer has more singles than matched <laughs> pairs, you are not alone. A study by Samsung estimates the average person loses about 15 socks each and every year. So we asked KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt to take a stab at solving one of life's most persistent mysteries. What happens to our missing socks? We ask you investigate, Matt. Yeah, Danny Mike, yeah. if missing socks drive you crazy, you may take comfort in knowing they really can disappear in the washing machine. So where do they vanish to? You ask KSL investigates. You have a sock monster. I have a sock monster. Connie Boyd says no doubt about it, there is something with a voracious appetite that is hunting down socks in her clothes washer. In recent weeks, it has devoured five socks from five different pairs. I think the washing machine eats them, for sure. Is this a complaint you've heard before? To test Connie's theory, we brought in technician Tyler Murphy of Appliance Service by Paul to ask, can a clothes washer really eat socks? Honestly, where the missing socks go? They're back here. <laughs> They're behind the washer. But not always. Sometimes washing machines really do devour socks. Well, sort of. Inside of the actual washer here, the door boot can pull open, and you can get a sock that can go down like into these crevices, but it's going to go straight down into your drain pump. Now, Connie's machine is a front loader, and Murphy says it's more common in top loaders, where socks can get pushed over the drum when the machine is overloaded. The same principle applies as more water goes in the washer, everything goes down to the drain. A lot of clothes washers have a filter that prevents stuff from wreaking havoc on drain pumps. And it's not just socks. We're talking coins, wedding rings, bobby pins, and over the past 15 months, a lot of COVID-19 masks. We've seen a lot of the fine masks get down in through the washer and then clog a drain pump. We checked Connie's filter for stray socks. We don't have actually anything in the filter itself. Digging deeper, Murphy opened up Connie's washer to see if one of the socks somehow made it past the filter. We found nothing, not one trace. Your washer's spick and span, nothing down inside of it. No socks. No socks. No socks, no sock monster, at least no sock monster in her not washer. I still say there's a sock monster. <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, there is a sock monster in the house. You know, one solution to keep socks together is to try and wash and dry them in one of those mesh laundry bags. I should note, an English psychologist did a real study on missing socks, and among his findings is that we tend to look in the easiest places, and if the sock isn't there, we just kind of assume it's gone forever. So maybe it would behoove you to search a little bit behind the dresser before blaming the sock monster or the dog. If you got something you want us to look into, give us a shot at it. The number 385-707-6153. You can email me, Matt, at KSL.com. We have a full basket sitting in the hallway with just single socks. There's got to be at least 25 to 30 of them in there, just waiting for the matches to show up somewhere. Call the Ghostbusters. Yeah. I, I think you got the right one, though. <laughs> yeah. The right culprit, yeah. that dog. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks, Matt. Yeah.